If you are chanting, please stop chanting. If you're next to someone who's chanting, please ask them to stop chanting. Thank you. We stand here in front of Wall Street to declare once again, as we did in the beginning of this genocide, that Wall Street has blood on its hands. We stand in front of Wall Street to say, Wall Street has Palestinian blood. that are making the bombs being dropped on Gaza and profiting off of the genocide of the Palestinian people are traded right here on Wall Street. If you count the number of Palestinians presumed to be dead under the rubble, there are over 30,000 Palestinians that have been killed. 10,000 of them children by these companies, by these manufacturers that are literally profiting off of Palestinian blood. The bombs used to murder them are being traded on the New York Stock Exchange and paid for with your tax dollars to the tune of $3.8 billion a year. $10 million a day. And Congress is going to provide an additional 14 billion in military aid to the occupation to fund more death and destruction in Gaza. Which will end up as bloodstained money in the pockets of the weapons manufacturers. So when I say the name of these companies, I want you to repeat after me because they should all be known. They should all be shamed and all of the people who are trading, who are guessing how many Palestinians are gonna die or how much money they're gonna make off of our suffering. Shame to you, you are in the dustbin of history along with companies like Boeing. Raytheon Technologies. Woodward! Shame. Lockheed Martin! Shame. Northrop Grumman! Shame. Albin Systems! Shame. General Dynamics! Shame. Most of these companies are American companies. American companies, American bombs, American weapons, American tax dollars, American vetoes in the United Nations, American media companies like CNN, like New York Post, like New York Times, lying, lying to manufacture consent for the genocide. To manufacture consent for the genocide of the Palestinian people. Why is that propaganda in English? They want you to understand it. They want the American people to view the Palestinians as savages, as barbarians, as people who should be exterminated because that's exactly what they're trying to do to us. That's exactly what they're doing to us. Remember, we are not just here standing against Zionism and Israel without its imperialist backbone, without its settler colonial solidarity state, the U.S., which ravaged the indigenous people of this nation, of this country, of this land, which enslaved African people, which put dictators as leaders in countries around the world, Latin America, Middle East, which wreaks havoc on not just Palestine, but Congo, Sudan, so many countries around the world, Syria, Lebanon, Iran. This, this siege 
breach this blockade, these sanctions, they are not unique to Palestine, but the level of death, of killing, of destruction is one of the most horrific things that we have ever seen in our lifetime. The number of Palestinians they've killed in such a short period is obvious, is abundantly clear. They are stopping at nothing less than complete and total annihilation of the Palestinian people. And so we must intensify our struggle against Zionism wherever it exists and where to start. Brothers and sisters is right here in the belly of the beast, the United States of America, New York City that is literally making money. The, the guys in suits working in these buildings are literally trading the companies, figuring out how they can make money off of Palestinian blood. protesting do it's not important it's very important and at least let them know we know who they are we know what they're funding we know they are on the right side the wrong side of history we are on the right side of history and we will shame them we will find them wherever they are whether in the halls of congress whether in the buildings on the new york stock exchange whether at universities that continue to pass zionist policies to punish students speaking up against genocide and for the liberation of the Palestinian people. Yeah.